Hello everybody and welcome to episode 1 of the class of 2017 or the class of 17. Uh, this is the end of the first season. I'm not going to do a whole episode on the end of the first season because as you can see they've only played a handful of games each. There's a, one player has played double figures but everybody else has played about 5 or 6 games so there's no point spending ages and ages and ages. So this episode is going to be from season 1 to season 5 so when they're all at 20 years old which would be quite interesting to see because there's players who have moved around maybe there's players who have played a lot more by the time they're 20 and that's when the sort of things are going to start to get a bit more interesting so I'm gonna have a quick brief look now at the players and where there are where they are what impact they're having on the team if any at all and their current ability and see if that has affected their potential ability so this here you can see is the list of the players uh, keepers is the highest current ability he's played six times for Wolves and scored two goals this season he's still aged only 16 just having a look at his stats here finishing and first touch are excellent he's got fairly good pace 16 acceleration 16 anticipation 15 off the ball 16 so really good stats for a striker uh, and 11 clap 11 under 21 caps and 7 under 21 goals for Scotland as well is brilliant. Uh, if I just have a quick scroll down, Michael McIntyre is the second highest rated current ability, but has only played once. Liam Eduardo Gregorini has played six times at left back. Uh, Newton Durham five times and two goals as well from right midfield. But the highest number of appearances is the goalkeeper Owen Cotton who's played 11 times so let's have a quick look at him uh, fairly well for bear in mind 16 year old goalkeeper they're fairly good stats I'd say um, valued at 2 million and he's wanted who wants him Arsenal and Man United and some minor interest from Tottenham so he's very very highly thought of at the moment that's really interesting to see let's have a look at who's the lowest current ability that's Dan Derman and Sam Jordan both on 102 Dan Derman he's valued at 2.1 million and he's wanted by Arsenal and Man City so he's even though he, his current ability is not brilliant he's still only 16 he's played once um, but his potential ability is really really good uh, Sam Jordan as well has played once um, the only player who hasn't, well I think there are a couple of players who haven't played, three players in fact, Jack Rashbrook, Josh Williams and Scotty the Wolf who is a Dutch centre back, haven't played at all so that hasn't impacted them but of course they'd have played a lot for the under 18s and under 21s, these are of uh, first team stats. So let's have a look at the Wolves and see what they've done this season. Uh, they finished third in the league so not promotion, still Paul Lambert's in charge, Danny Bart's the captain, Dave Edwards is the vice captain and Helder Costa who's now playing for Angola is uh, that's the, how that team is looking there. The under 23 squad, four of our players have made the under 23s at the moment, Michael McIntyre, Dave Azapardi, Newton Durham and keepers are in there. So the under 18s will be still full of our players and as you can see they're in the sort of starting lineup. they're making up those spaces there. Bit disappointed to see myself not involved a lot. 421 caps though. What I'm going to do as well is just show you the best 11 for Wolves at the moment just to see if any of the players have impacted on the team. Now of course because this is the end of the first season it's going to be the same as this overall stats. So the main team there is of course made up of Wolves players the only person who's made it on there is Owen Cowton. 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 He's made the bench there with 11 appearances. What we'll do now is skip forward to the end of the second season, and I'll see you there. So here we are then, season two. You can see that they're all a year older now. They're 17, um, and you can see there's a few more players playing a few more games as well. And those eagle-eyed fans of you, or what? Those eagle-eyed of you will have noticed that Just Mike has gone to Burnley. So that's the first thing that we're going to have a look at is Just Mike. Uh, see if it's a, he's on loan from Wolves at the moment. So he's um, 
played five times for Wolves, scored one goal, but has been shipped off on loan to Burnley at the moment. Uh, let's have a look at the all-time appearances then. So. I was going to say, where have they all gone? Keepers uh, seem to have shot out of nowhere. 50 appearances now, 18 goals, two caps at full international level for Scotland now. He's valued at 11.25 million, which is brilliant. His stats are improving as well. That's really great to see. Um, 12 league goals as well. Four in the cup and six appearances. That's really, really good. So I expect the keepers, not the best potential ability, but as Flash plays, who's only played nine times so far and two goals, you can see his current ability is quite low. But that potential ability there is really impressive. And I'm just going to add to our thing now the current value of the players so that we can see who is making an impact there. Value of the players, we've got Keepers, who's 11.25 million. Michael McIntyre is 8.75. Dave has a party sitting there on 7 million. Quite a good uh, left-sided player by the look of it. Gully Kular, even though he's only played seven appearances, he's valued at 6.25. He has got an international cap though for India. Owen Cowton, 22 appearances, so he's added another 11 this season. Matt Wayne, Five and a half million, thirteen appearances. Um, Jack Rashbrook has finally made an appearance. Very lucky him to come late to the party. I'm still only valued at twenty three point five thousand. That's absolutely ridiculous. But two appearances, you know, not very good at all. Newton Durham, Australian, no caps for him. You can see none of the none of the English players have got any international caps yet which is what we expect just mike has got two caps for gibraltar uh gully has got a cap for india dave has a party two for malta uh two for scotland as well for keepers but nobody else on that list has got any nobody scored an international goal yet but bear in mind they're still 17 years old so there's still a long long way to go here and let's just check out how wolves have been getting on again they failed to make promotion finishing lower than they did in the first season and now Carl Robinson in charge, former MK Dons manager. Uh, he's only 37 years old still at the end of next season. Danny Bart is still the captain. Let's just have a look at the senior squad. A few more red names there in the squad. Not necessarily playing, but in the squad nonetheless. Owen Cowton there played, that must have been the last game of the season. Carl Akimi there on the bench. Javier Garrido in the team now as well, Connor Ronan, a more uh, regular player in the league. Now let's have a look at the under 23, so there's Albert Oswald, Ed Haig Saunders and Flash plays in there, then there's a couple of the other boys, Tom Rouse, oh, that's myself, Sam Jordan, Troy Thomas, Lenny Ham, Newton Durham and Jack Rashbrook, all sort of mainstays of the under 23s have we got any plays in the under 18s now no we haven't they've all moved on from there these are the uh, results from last from the season that's just finished we started the season um by scoring two goals against oldham in the league cup then he scored two against nottingham forest one against carlisle in the cup uh didn't score then until then so He's been fairly consistent, just scanning through here now. Just Mike grabbed a goal there against Dirty Leeds. Keepers again, two goals against Rotherham. That's a good spell for him. And Wolves losing in the playoff final there in ex oh, on penalties. Oh my goodness gracious me. So they beat Swansea on aggregate. They won the first leg 4 1, but then lost the second 4 2. Dave Azapardi, Courtney Hawes, John Daddy Bavarsen, Roman Sais scoring in the uh, semi final first leg. And then the Let's have a look at the team for the player final. Did we have any boys starting there? Yes, we did. Owen Cowden, who came off for an injury in the 56th minute. Uh, Dave has a party started. And that's it. The bench, we had keepers. Gully. And I was going to say Jordan Green, then. He's not one of our boys. So we're getting in, involved now. The, some of the, the, bear in mind, they're still only 17. To have that many players in 
in the starting eleven and in playing in important games. I think he's really, really great to see. And we'll skip forward now to the end of season three. Okay, so season three. First thing you notice is that a few more players have left the club. Newton Durham has left without any club to go to, so he's let his contract run out. But he has got interest from Monaco and Olympic Lyon, with some minor interest from some massive clubs there. Barcelona, Porto, Inter, PSG, Real Madrid, Roma, Sevilla, Benfica, Valencia and Villarreal, all interested in signing Newton Durham. So it would be really, really interesting to follow his career now with those big teams sniffing around him. But aged 19, still a long way to go, still a lot of developing to do, so be, we watch with anticipation. Michael Bibb has also gone. He's gone on loan to Barnsley. Played 39 times last season, so that would be great for his development and hopefully he'll come back and be a part of a successful team next season. Daniel Derman as well has gone on loan. He's now valued at £8 million, so his value has shot up. Two caps for Wales as well with one international goal. Uh, 36 appearances, four Barnsley and five goals with three assists. So he's got a lot more game time this season, which will be really useful for us. Now, Just Mike has, I imagine then, he's been sold to Burnley. Let's have a look. No, he's still on loan. Still on loan from Wolves. Uh, valued at 3.5 million now. He's got 12 international caps for Gibraltar, but... We did predict at the beginning of the season, at the beginning of the series, that that would happen. Down to, um, down to the sort of uh, pool of players that they've got to pick from. So the all-time appearances now is led by keepers: eighty-seven appearances, thirty-six goals, eight caps for Scotland as well, and three goals there. He's current ability as well as 145 which is outstanding for somebody who's 18 that is world class and that's replicated as well by his value of 13.25 for a championship striker aged 18 that's brilliant Michael McIntyre as well has done really well 49 appearances nine goals still no England caps of course but they're going to be the hardest to come by I think maybe the Holland as well with uh, Scotty De Wolf who's uh, only played nine times and his value is six hundred thousand uh, pounds. Let's have a look at the all-time goals then. Keepers miles ahead in that with thirty-six. Michael McIntyre and Dan Derman on nine each. Dave Azapardi from left midfield has got five. Newton Durham with three. Uh, Sam Jordan with three as well. Flash plays two. Gully Kular won from defence. He's now got 12 international caps and two international goals for India. Let's have a look at the potential ability. Potential ability hasn't changed. Still flash plays at the top with 199 potential. And his current ability is slowly improving. But he's not getting enough game time to be able to reach that potential, I don't think. Michael McIntyre is playing a bit more. So his potential ability is getting closer and closer. But we'll see how that goes as we progress. Finally, Liam Eduardo Gre Gregorini has got an international cap for Malawi. It was a long time in coming, but he has got there in the end. He's valued at 1.8 million and is wanted by... Who wants him? Chelsea, Liverpool and Man City. So that's going to a tribunal. Must be the end of his... Um, must be the end of his contract his youth contract but he's too old now for that and let's have a look at Wolves and how they've gone so still another season without promotion they're fifth so they went to the playoffs again Short Sean Dosh is now the manager there but their key player you'll notice is Keepers who is turning out to be something special in this series let's have a look at the best 11 I forgot to have a look for last season so I'll have a look at that first have we impacted on that no not last season. Owen Cowden, Gully Kular on the bench. Keepers and Michael McIntyre as well making appearances on the bench there. John Daddy Bob Varsin scoring 17 last season. So that's what edged Keepers out of that. Let's have a look at the season that's just finished. Now this is, we've started to make a bit of an impact now. Uh, we've got Dave Azapardi on the left. He's played 29 games last season and the two strikers Michael McIntyre and keepers up front who look to be forming some sort of 
partnership between the two of them. 18 goals for keepers and 8 for Michael McIntyre. Owen Cavden on the bench. Gully Kular on the bench as well. Uh, Liam Eduardo Gregorini, 23 appearances last season with an average rating of 6.83. But unfortunately, Matt Doherty, because he played more games, even though a lower average rating, he is in the starting 11. So overall, has anybody managed to get in there? Not yet, but we do see keepers on the bench. Owen Cowden on the bench as well, and Michael McIntyre there. So how did Wolves get off in the playoffs? They made the final again and lost. How devastating. They played Swansea again in this semi-final, beating them 2-1 on aggregate. Drawing the first leg and then two goals in the second leg with only one conceded. But then in extra time, they lost to QPR. But lots more players in that from our little group involved. So Matt, the whole back four, in fact, Matt Wayne, Gully Kular, Tom Rouse, and Liam Eduardo Gregorini making the, up the back four. Newton Durham there on the wing. Flash plays keepers. Dave has a party. Troy Thomas, Lenny Ham, Scotty the Wolf as well, all involved in the player final. But sadly. Andy Vyman look scoring against his former club to put QPR into the playoff. Sorry, into the Premier League. So Wolves very very unlucky in these two seasons to have missed out on the playoffs. Did I did I check how they got on that season? They surely didn't get. Um, no, they didn't get. Oh, that was pretty dire that season in the playoff semi-finals. But twice now they've got to the playoff final. And lost it. So hopefully now next season we'll be looking at a promotion. They certainly deserve it from what we've seen. But maybe it's because they've got these huge crop of young players that's holding them back a little bit. If they haven't got the experience to be able to get through a player final, maybe that's what's holding us back. So... We'll skip on now to the end of the next season where they'll all be 19 and maybe starting to move on a little bit more and their value will be starting to shoot up a bit more. We'll see now. Start of season four, the players are all now 19 except for Newton Durham who seems to be a year older than everybody else for some reason. Um, and you will notice that there have been some big moves. Gully Kular has gone to Liverpool. Keepers and Liam Eduardo Gregorini have both gone to Manchester City. Newton Durham found a club in West Ham and Sam Jordan went to Bolton. So, looking at the appearances first of all, keepers, has he played for Man City at the age of 19 and how much did he go for? He's now valued at £20.5 million. So we'll see. He's earning £110,000 a week as well, which is good for him, but he's only made two appearances for Man City without any goals. So that's not great for him. 21 caps though now and 7 international goals. He looks absolutely brilliant. If you had a player like this in your team, you'd be playing him. But at the age of 19, still got some way to go. His current ability is brilliant as well. 158 with his potential of 180. I've no doubt that he will reach that potential and maybe surpass it. I don't know whether that's possible. Uh, you can see as well he's head and shoulders of everybody else. At the moment as well the next highest current ability is Gully Kular with 139 current ability with a potential of 176 so he went to Liverpool let's find out how he did there I apologize for this picture it's not Gully but for some reason that's up there <laughs> I don't know why he's earned 21 caps now for India as well three goals for him and he hasn't played but he's just signed that's why he's just signed for Liverpool so we'll, we'll have a look at the end of next season but obviously Wolves still in the championship so it's a cheap purchase for Liverpool for 3 million for somebody a centre back who's played 32 times for Wolves with an average rating of 6.59 which is not brilliant but did he start all those games as well he started 30 of them that's quite good but they're signing an international defender with a great potential. Matt Wayne has improved this season as well by the look of it. He's now earning £32,500 a week. No caps yet, but of course, playing for England. 
could be difficult for him to get any at all. Um, 43 games for him last season, so fairly consistent as well. He's been an important player in this series so far. Michael McIntyre as well, valued at 14. He's surely the highest valued Wolves player at the moment. He is. Uh, Dan Derman as well, his value is going up, 11 point. 75 he's scored 12 goals now from his attacking midfield or position in 80 appearances he's also got six caps for wales with three goals so that's fantastic for him flash plays still not making massive strides towards that potential ability his value is going up he's playing a little bit more now 45 games this season earning 20,000 pounds a week but he's been loaned out he was at Norwich for most of last season which is good in a way he's been able to go and get that game sign that he needs and an average rating of seven over those games and he started most of well almost all of them as well so that's brilliant for him and hopefully he'll come back to Wolves now and we'll have a better idea of where he's going to be so Sam Jordan has gone off to Bolton now where are Bolton currently they're in League One and he's gone and scored 18 goals in one season for Bolton didn't obviously get promoted as he's playing in League One again next season but started 42 didn't come off the bench once 18 goals there three goals in the cup so 21 goals in all for him La Liam Eduardo Gregorini you can see says there Man City under 23s did he play last season he did but not for Man City he went off to Stade René on alone for 33 appearances which I think would be good it'd be good for his development he'd learn a new language and new skills but we want to see him kicking on so Newton Durham found a club in West Ham having been linked with Barcelona and Real Madrid etc he man ended up at West Ham but he's still wanted by some big t well they're mediocre teams aren't they Granada, Stade de Remy and Celta Vigo. West Ham signed him and then shipped him out to Stade de René. So we would have played with his old mate, uh, Gregorino, uh, at Stade de René. But he only played twice and both of those were from the bench. So it was a little bit of a wasted season for him. Be interesting to see now whether he makes an impact at West Ham this season or whether he continues to just plod along. Now I'm a bit wary that I haven't spoken about many other players because we've been focusing on these top players who've moved and made impacts elsewhere but let's have a look at some of the people who haven't been playing and think about why that is well Ed Haig Saunders has only played nine games now at the age of 19 and that's because he's a third choice goalkeeper he'll be in the under 23 setup and things like that he's not going to be making a an impact at Wolves and for him I think the best thing would be is for him to leave really because there's We'll have a look at the Wolves squad in a minute now, but they've, they're going to be other people in front of him. Newton Durham as well, only 13 appearances in his short career, but not great. Scotty the Wolf as well, 21 appearances. Tom Rouse, myself, 24 appearances and two goals from centre back. 10 appearances for Wales though, so I don't understand what's going on there. A uh, bit of a strange situation there. Just Mike has almost played as many games for Gibraltar as he has for Wolves. He scored more goals for Gibraltar than he has for Wolves as well. So he maybe we'll see when these players hit 20, maybe they'll start to you know go elsewhere because for their careers, even though even though it might be in the games that they prefer Wolves and their Wolves fans, is it going to be good for them to stick around? I don't think so. So let's have a look at Wolves now. As you can see, they've made finally they've got promotion. Sean Dyche has managed to get them promoted. Adam Forshaw, is he from Middlesbrough? Is he that Middlesbrough bloke? Yes. He's our captain. Connor Cody's still there. Matt Wayne is our key, key player now, of course. The right back. So we're in the Premier League for next season. And that'll be good to see how our players get on when faced with the challenge of that. So they finished second in the league. They didn't win the league, but there were some good performances. Some good wins. Now, this player here, where are we? Trooper Akpom. 
he came in near the end of the season. Now he's signed from we signed him from Burnley. In real life, he's at is he Arsenal on loan at Hull and Brighton? That's where he's been recently. Birmingham, he spent a year on loan in League One next season. So if you want, keep an eye out for that. So we signed him for Burnley and nine goals in seventeen appearances at the end of the season. I think it must have been what got us to the Premier League. Also, Dan Derman as well, that I've seen, popped a few goals in near the end of that season as well. And a 2-2 draw away at the Hawthorns at the end of the season to get us there. Let's just have a quick look at the best 11. That's the overall best 11. You can see now that we've got Michael McIntyre and keepers in that squad. Nobody else, though, in the starting 11. Uh, Gully Kumar, sorry, Kular, apologies. And Dan Derman now making the... Overall, best 11. Let's have a look at the season that we got promoted then. Dan Derman, centre midfield, making an impact there. Uh, 39 appearances, 7 goals. Mac McIntyre and Keepers up front with 15 and 17. That's a really, really good return. Although Keepers has now moved on to Man City. Matt Wayne and Gully Kular as well at the back, forming a strong partnership there. Right, so we'll skip on to the final part of this video now, which is going to be the fifth season. So they're all getting into their twenties now, and we're going to see what has happened there. Okay, so time for the final update of this episode. It's the longest video that I've put on YouTube now, but I hope you don't mind. If you want me to make them shorter and have um, individual season reviews, or if you want me to make them longer and go to deeper detail on each individual player, I know that some of you haven't been mentioned at all, but that's because you haven't really done anything <laughs> if you have a look at you know Ed Haig Saunders he's played he's now played in five years 21 games so not a lot I can say about him but maybe I mean myself they're 28 games Scotty DeWolf 22 games hopefully these players now at the age of 20 will start thinking about their careers and move elsewhere and it'd be more interesting to keep track of um, but yeah let me know in the comments down below how you want me to continue this series so you can see there's a couple more players who've left now we'll come and have a look at Gully, Liam and the keepers who've moved last season and Newton Durham still at West Ham but these two Samuel Jordan and Michael McIntyre have both left so two strikers four Wolves two young strikers have gone so Sam Jordan has gone to Stoke and that's a new move but of course I had forgotten that Wolves had already sold him to League One Bolton and he continued his good scoring streak in the next season in League One and was picked up then by Stoke for 10.75 million. So Bolton have really done well then and his goals earned them the League One title that season. So well done to Samuel Jordan and his career has gone from strength to strength. Michael McIntyre, who has been really, really good for Wolves so far. He's been in the best 11 of the season. You can see he's made two England caps, so he, he is really progressing well. 144 current ability. His value has shot up to 25 million. He's gonna he's on track to make that 197 uh, current, uh, potential rating. So let's have a look at him. He did play for he moved to Spurs at the end of last season. So Wolves stayed in the Premier League. Did we look at that? I can't remember. Anyway, Wolves stayed in the Premier League. The, the oh no, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So just oh, oh just giving it away, haven't I? The Wolves did stay in the Premier League. Did they? Oh god, I don't know. <laughs> at some point. It must have been in August. Let's have a look. At some point Michael McIntyre moved from Wolves to Tottenham for 39 million. He scored three goals in three games at the beginning of last season. He moved to Tottenham then for 39 million and has two league appearances from the bench, three cup appearances, three cup goals for them. Newton Durham still at West Ham. Season away at Stuttgart this time a few more games for him so good good for him uh, let's have a quick scan down Owen Cowton did he play much last season not uh, dropped so he hasn't played now for two seasons not since he played 20 games 
in 2019 in the championship. So he's. You've got to think now, these players. Some of them are Wolves fans in the game, so they might be thinking about staying for a little bit longer, but others will surely be thinking about their careers. And, you know, with these massive potentials that they've got, they could go out and, and really play for some amazing teams. We'll see what happens there. Matt Wayne. Um, again, we've come to realise that he's a very good player. He played every game looking at the pre Premier League season, scoring one goal, three assists, and a very good average rating for a Premier League. I imagine, I haven't looked at the table yet, but I imagine Wolves were down at the bottom of the table for most of the season. So good for him. Uh, let's have a look at Josh Williams next. 18 appearances in the Premier League. Oh, I have given it away now, yeah. Wolves did stay up in the. So that was great. But yet, uh, 12 appearances from the bench and a goal for him. He's wearing the number seven shirt, so you know these boys are getting the the um, good numbers. Michael Bibb. So he, last time we talked about him, he'd gone on loan to Barnsley. He then went to Hull, came back, and he's made three appearances last season for Wolves from the bench. Must have been replacement for Matt Wayne um, at that right back position. And that's the thing now, because we've got more than one player in each position as well. They're gonna, there's gonna be a lot of competition for those places. Uh, let's have a quick look at one more. Let's have a look at who's got the most international caps. It's just Mike with Gibraltar, who's again 33 caps, four goals. He's only played 49 times for Wolves. Uh, keepers, he's doing really well as well. Dave has a party, 30 caps. Gully Kumar, 29 caps. And bear in mind, these are only 20 years old. So I imagine that these few players are going to go on and make it over 100 caps for their country. I have made 15 appearances for Wales, 28 for Wolves. Um, I'll be imagining I must be going up, planning on moving on, surely. Let's have a quick look at the senior squad. Lots of red now in there. Any in the under 23s, only Owen Calton, the goalkeeper, and there won't be any in the under 18s because we're not eligible anymore. Dan Derman was an interesting one in the last uh, series. He played, made an appearance in all, all of the games this season. 35 starts, 3 appearances, and an 11 Premier League goal, so very well done to him. Let's have a quick look at the. Let's have a quick look at the Premier League table from last the end of last season. Wolves just about to stay up there. Huddersfield, Reading and Brighton going down. Wolves finishing on 39 points. 10 wins in that though. We beat anybody big. We beat Arsenal 2-1 at home. We beat West Ham. We beat Burnley. Lots and lots of home wins there. Not many away wins. Uh, a draw there at home against Chelsea as well. So... Fairly good season, we'll be hoping that Wolves can progress a little bit more now. And let's just finally finish this part of the series, of the episode, sorry, by looking at the best 11. This is the overall best 11 then, so we've also got Stuart Dallas who's come into the team. Uh, only Michael McIntyre and keepers now in that starting 11. But a few more making it onto the bench. Troy Thomas Lennyham as well, who's valued at fifteen and a half million. The Irish uh, defender who's got twenty caps and two goals for Ireland. He's becoming a steady player as well. He's played thirty-eight every game for Wolves last season. Thirty-eight games the season before, so he's progressing as well and coming into the team. So let's have a look at the best eleven for that season. You can see lots and lots more. Of our players involved now. We've got Rashbrook, Lenny Ham and Wayne making up that three of the back four. Albert Oswald playing there in the centre midfield alongside Helder Costa. And then Dan Derman alongside Albion and JT. Is he a real player? He is. He's Swiss. Um, 4.1 million we signed him for from Vitesse. Um, only scoring six goals. But when you've got Dan Derman banging in 12 alongside him, it doesn't really matter. Ed Haig Saunders, the goalkeeper. So, in fact, I did. I think I said at the end of the last episode that he needs to be thinking about moving on. Maybe he's gonna. He's pushing Owen Cowton out the way for that number two goalkeeper position. Michael Bibb as well has made it into the season 11, but he's only made five appearances. 
that is the end of this episode. If you've enjoyed it, then don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, so the next episode, I think I'll do f the next five seasons. So we'll be up to season ten. Let me know if you want me to go into any more detail of these of the players. If you want me to show more of the stats, or if you want me to carry on just as I've been doing. Let me know in the comments down below because I'm interested in hearing feedback. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.